And welcome back to the channel, everybody. Trying something a little different today. Going to do a little vlogging style video as we try and figure out exactly what this channel is going to become. For all 11 of my subscribers, you've seen me post on a number of different things. You've seen me post on everyday carry, which is a subject I enjoy. You've seen me post on how to make clear ice cubes. Um, you've seen me post on my coin collection. Um, interestingly enough, so far, the coin collection and everyday carry are the two most viewed videos. But I've got a lot of other things to talk about. I don't want to niche down to just one small thing. Um, I promise we're going to talk about cigars. We want to talk about scotch. We want to talk about motorcycles. Uh, I was fishing today, caught a nice smallmouth, and um, almost brought you along for that. Certainly, uh, hunting season starting soon. I want to get into that. Do some pheasant hunting. Do some duck hunting. Um, so I think there's a lot we can do as a lifestyle channel for those of us that are of a certain age, <laughs> approaching 60, uh, a little bit of gray hair, and what we can do to share our experiences. So that's where I want to go with this. I do have a project today. Again, another topic, but it's one I wanted to get done today, and that is work on my elevated vegetable garden. We'll take a look at the system I use. We'll unbox one, put it together, and expand the garden today. So here are the original elevated garden beds. See on the left there, I repurposed an old cart to make it into a potting bench. This one here has really good crop of oregano, basil, some good tomatoes coming in. I did have some squash right there in the middle and that was a complete fail. Got a couple butterflies coming to play. Um, that was a complete fail. Only made, for some reason, male flowers and no female ones. And I've got good pollination, as you can tell. I have butterflies, I've got bees, I've got all kinds of things here. So I eventually took them out and just recently planted some romaine lettuce, which ought to do well as we get towards the end of the season here. I have some snap peas that are pretty weak. Um, and then you can see over here in this one, I learned the lesson of spacing. I guess they really do mean what they say on the package. As you can tell, I put, there's only three zucchini plants in there I planted, but, um, they went crazy and they've taken over the entire box. You can see they're squeezing out my jalapeno peppers up front there. Zucchinis in the middle. Got some green peppers in the back, which aren't doing very well and are getting eaten by something. And then I am kind of excited about this. I do have some carrots growing right there, which I'm looking forward to pulling out of here in the next week or two. And that's pretty much the existing beds. We'll figure out soon what we're gonna do with the new one. So this will be our project today. It's a greens fence elevated planting bed. That's two feet by four feet by 31 inches tall. Comes nicely packaged like this. You can have it, pick it up at Home Depot after you order it or have it delivered. I had mine delivered and it, it all is put together without any tools at all maybe a uh, a mallet rubber mallet to help push them together but they use a dovetail joining system where everything just slides together so let's get to it so the pieces all fit together in these nice little dovetail grooves that are pre-installed so all you need to do is take the bottom piece it slides into the corner piece now you want to make sure that the dovetails are the same on both sides don't ask me how I learned that lesson and it slides together you can use a rubber mallet if you need it this one over here is already together. And now, since 
when you put the long side in. Okay, here it is in place. Just a couple things left to do. Screw down the end cap. And the last step is to put in the fabric barrier. Here's the new bed, all put together, filled with soil, planted with beets, radishes, and cucumbers. And here's how the entire garden now looks. Very happy with it. And that'll wrap it up. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you again soon.